morning for another session with Tao Overflows. Breathing, the tool of awakening. Breathing, the tool of awakening. Each one of you use a smartphone, mobile. Your mobile is powered by battery power, the energy of the battery. If you want your mobile to function properly for a long time, for its entire duration, you need to have its battery fully charged so that it can power the functions of the phone. So too, human life is run, is powered by life force, Ellen White or Pran Urja. Pran Urja. To charge the battery of the mobile phone, you have to connect it when the energy, when the, the level of power is getting less, you charge it to electrical socket. So connection with the electrical energy begins to charge your mobile battery. So too, your life is powered by life force, Ellen White, Pran Urja. This Pran Urja is to be connected to cosmos, the cosmic source, just as you connected through the, if I use the word umbilical cord, you connected your mobile to the electrical socket. So too, through the umbilical cord of breathing, umbilical cord of breathing, conscious breathing, you connect you to the ultimate source of energy. So conscious breathing is one of the most important and key factors. If you want to keep your life fully energized, fully energized, you have to focus on your breathing. The breathing, now what happens if I ask you to close your eyes and Observe your breathing. Breathing has three parts. Inhaling, exhaling, the gap between the two, that is rechika. You have to take deep breath, hold it for a few seconds, and with the same intensity exhale. But then, if you sit down, in deep breathing, you will start itching here, there, thoughts will arise, you will start fidgeting in the chair, you cannot rim, stationary, but when you are watching a television show or something like this, the itching disappears. So you have to, the itching disappears, hunger disappears, all such things completely disappears. So you have to observe no itching even if it is there because what happens itching symbolizes that there is a negative or violent or the energy that needs to release from a particular part of the body there is itching, you itch. You do not itch it. Then itching will vanish by itself. 
It is said when people have the skin disease and skin itches, the more they itch, the more it creates the problem and itching increases. So according to Ayurveda, it is suggested that do not itch. If you want, you can simply do a gentle touch to it. The more you eat, it will create the wounds and create more complications and problems. If you can take deep breaths for 10 minutes, your body gets energized. Just as your mobile phone gets energized a certain percentage in a short period of time, for fully getting charged will depend upon the quality and the life of your battery. So same principle applies to your life. You have to keep the battery. Do not, it is said, do not allow it to go below a certain percentage and do not allow it to charge more than 95%. This will enhance not only your body. If you know the art of correct breathing, all the seven bodies that are there in you will get energized. You can imagine the state of the person, the, his energy level, one in whom not only the physical body that you see, the astral, the causal, the nirvanic, all these seven bodies are energized completely. So, according to Sanatan tradition, when you bow down in front of the Master and you put your head over the feet, what it is happening, the energy moves from the ends of the nerves. So, when toes, the finger, the Toes in the feet are the ones that releases the energy, constantly emitting the energy. And when you put your forehead, that means you are putting your soul, the Agya Chakra, the command center, it gets activated. Master does not want, but it is for your own benefit. And when he blesses, he takes your, his palm with the fingers, releasing the energy, transmitting the energy. A on your crown chakra and blesses you. In this process, you are receiving the energy and the master is also giving up your, his energy to you. The more your body is knows, understands the process of breathing, then it may be possible for you to engage in multitask. But when you are listening to this live broadcast, maybe many things are going on. If a message comes on WhatsApp, there is a discontinuity between you and me or if any other things comes, you have not attained a state of total focus, total alertness and you are engaging in so many other things. You have seen a master chef working in the kitchen he is the master chef guided by many others. There are all the, the entire restaurant is full with the, all the tables are occupied. Each table will have an order of five or six dishes. If your order is not completed within a desired time frame, the service of the restaurant is considered to be very poor. So each chef is doing multitask on one 
burner he is cooking one thing next burner he is cooking the two the next thing simultaneously he is occupied with all the burners and cooking things so he has developed the art of multitasking but you have not first you have to learn the art of breathing not to unconscious breathing conscious breathing when you are hugging a person your focus is on many other things but not on your breathing the moment you are your fo total focus and alertness is on your breathing then naturally the breathing slows down and in that so for you the hug is important but the breathing is the one that energizes you and this is very very important conscious breathing is essential for awareness so breathing is the tool for awareness or awakening or create awakening awareness is the energy the pool of reserve pool or reservoir of energy within you then it is the awareness that be, that preludes your thought process so you have to learn the art of conscious breathing not unconscious breathing and then awareness increases when awareness increases your immunity increases because the with awareness the energy level of your body increases body and mind every cell gets energized every cell in the body gets energized and that gives you increases your immunity level when your immunity is increased and along with that you are following your eating patterns then you can have a longer life how did all these ancient sages and so they develop so much energy within them that they remained naked in the mountains in freezing cold in the snowy because they generate the energy within this is the one way of tawajjo of the nakshbandi masters so you remember your mobile is powered by battery your life is powered by life force or pran urja pran urja comes through the umbilical cord of conscious breathing through the you plug your umbilical cord of the mobile phone to electrical source of energy through conscious breathing you connect your umbilical cord of breathing to the cosmic reservoir of energy energy supply and then focus or the alertness you will continue your breathing the more focus and alertness is there you have you have on your breathing in the same proportion your immunity will increase your energy level will increase because immunity and energy level are directly connected to one another directly connected to one another and also the bodies get energized in another way when you are using your sense organs in a very systematic manner you are listening to this talk through the ears and you are through the ears by listening and by watching the person who is sitting there is no fidgeting so through the two ways your energy your life energy is being energized through the eyes and ears so sometimes if you look at the person very deeply and you are hearing his breathing through the ears the subtle aspect of it you get energized this is what happens when you are embraced 
are hugged by the master or your spouse transmitting the energy on your crown chakra and blesses you in this process you are receiving the energy and the master is also giving up your his energy to you the more your body is knows understands the process of breathing then it may be possible for you to engage in multitask but when you are listening to this live broadcast maybe many things are going on if a message comes on whatsapp there is a discontinuity between you and me or if any other things comes you have not attained a state of total focus total alertness and you are engaging in so many other things you have seen a master chef working in the kitchen he is the master chef guided by many others there are all the, the entire restaurant is full with the all the tables are occupied each table will have an order of five or six dishes if your order is not completed within a desired time frame the service of the restaurant is considered to be very poor so each chef is doing multitask on one burner he is cooking one thing next burner he is cooking the two the next thing simultaneously he is occupied with all the burners and cooking things so he has developed the art of multitasking but you have not first you have to learn the art of breathing not to unconscious breathing conscious breathing when you are hugging a person your focus is on many other things but not on your breathing the moment you are your total focus and alertness is on your breathing then naturally the breathing slows down and in that so for you the hug is important but the breathing is the one that energizes you and this is very very important conscious breathing is essential for awareness so breathing is the tool for awareness or awakening or create awakening awareness is the energy the pool of reserve pool or reservoir of energy within you then it is the awareness that big that preludes your thought process so you have to learn the art of conscious breathing not unconscious breathing and then awareness increases when awareness increases your immunity increases because the with awareness the energy level of your body increases body and mind every cell gets energized every cell in the body gets energized and that gives you increases your immunity level when your immunity is increased and along with that you are following your eating patterns then you can have a longer life how did all these ancient sages and so they develop so much energy within them that they remained naked in the mountains in freezing cold in the snowy because they generate the energy within this is the one way of tawajjo of the nakshbandi masters so you remember your mobile is powered by battery your life is powered by life force or pran urja pran urja comes 
through the umbilical cord of conscious breathing through the you plug your umbilical cord of the mobile phone to electrical source of energy through conscious breathing you connect your umbilical cord of breathing to the cosmic reservoir of energy energy supply and then focus or the alertness you will continue your breathing the more focus and alertness is there you have you have on your breathing in the same proportion your immunity will increase your energy level will increase because immunity and energy level are directly connected to one another directly connected to one another and also the bodies get energized in another way when you are using your sense organs in a very systematic manner you are listening to this talk through the ears and you are through the ears by listening and by watching the person who is sitting there is no fidgeting so through the two ways your energy your life energy is being energized through the eyes and ears so sometimes if you look at the person very deeply and you are hearing his breathing through the ears the subtle aspect of it you get energized this is what happens when you are embraced or hugged by the master or your spouse you can be energized your immunity can increase but it does not happen when the spouse hug one another the focus remains on many other things when the master hugs you or you put your forehead at his feet and his hands naturally touch your crown center the energy circle is complete energy begins to flow and you get energized so as you are conscious of every act of breathing in embrace in a hugging manner you your alertness or awareness is on your breathing through this is your breathing rhythmic or chaotic if it is rhythmic and your the breathing of your spouse is also breathing a connection is established you are energized so it is not the hug that energizes you it is the conscious experience realization of rhythmic breathing that is happening between you and your spouse that energizes your battery it is very important for immunity is very important for your health it nourishes along with other essential the oils omega 3 6 and 9 these come from the vegetarian as well as non vegetarian sources so to along with a disciplined life they energize you give you a long life no doubt such a person who has known the art of conscious breathing will have control on his sense organs as well he can withdraw himself the you get stimulated because your entire focus is on that particular organ when through your effort you are able to withdraw your focus from there and on the breathing then it happens the performance increases that begins with breathing conscious breathing or breathing movement or breath awareness to use mobile 
you need the add battery power to use your life your body your mind more efficiently you need the power generated conserved by breathing patterns inhale sit down in a very comfortable position feet are touching the ground so it is connected there feet the feet are connected to the earth a connection is there it has to be the connection between the source of energy and grounding your electricity works on two poles the hot wire and the neutral wire which comes the the negative or which is the earth element so in electrical energy you use you must have the earth so your feet is touching the ground if you are sitting on the chair between your back and the back of the chair there should be no gap you can keep a pillow so your back remains straight your head is only moving keeping a 10 degree angle in that there is no there is connection the positive energy through the breathing and when you breathe positive energy is coming it is neutralizing the positive current it is neutralizing by the gravitation the negative energy negative power and it becomes energy and it energizes you only this much for this broadcast tau overflows i will this afternoon evening i will speak on some other such topics what is the relationship between kama sutra and vijnana bhairava tantra the what is the difference or relationship between kama sutra and vijnana bhairava tantra only this much for this live broadcast until we meet again